Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa, and I'm here today with a haul for you, and I have Tuesday morning, Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Dollar General. I don't know if I'll get to it all in this, but we'll see. So, um, I'll start with Tuesday morning. The first thing that I got was this large um, flower punch. I don't know if you can see the shape of it, but... Yeah, that was an EK Tools one for $9.99, which is a good price for that large punch. Um, Woohoo, things are flying already. I got this Maggie Holmes die set with the little deer and the cameo and some other things on there that I really liked. And this for, I think you get seven dies. No. You get nine for $6.99. Then I found this impressionist leatherette journal. It's it's not real leather. It's you know, but it's it feels like it. And I love impressionist paintings. So I got that and it has the little faux leather tie. And the pages are just lined. So I don't know if I'm going to make this a glue book or what I'm going to make this. I'll have to figure that out. Um, it's all scratched up on the cover. I don't know. It looks like maybe better not be mice in my house again because this bag was on the floor. I will absolutely go off. <laughs> I hate it when I get mice and I get them every winter. And this was pricey, $14.99. I don't normally spend that on a journal, but I did that time. I also found these little sunflower, now you know sunflower, I had to get it. These little sunflower um, book boxes. Looks like a, bo a book on the shelf, but it's really a little keepsake box. It's too much light there. Is that better? Yeah. And I got the bigger one. They had the two sizes. And this bigger one was $8.99, and this smaller one was... Oh my gosh, I think it's $5.99. I can't read it. Yeah, $5.99 for the smaller one. This is the only two they have with sunflowers on them. And I mean to tell you, I snatched those babies up. Then I got these little ramekin dishes for fall. They have like little... They have the blue truck and they have pumpkins in the back of the blue truck. So cute. You get four for $6.99. And I could use these in my kitchen. Sean's always putting like little sauces and things in dishes to dip his food in. And I have a couple of little ones like this and they're always in the dishwasher. But I don't know if I'm going to use them for that or if I'm going to fill them with candy and wrap them in cellophane and give them as favors to friends. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Okay, what else? That might be it for Tuesday morning. Except this last thing. I got a couple of these tape runners by American Crafts. For $6.99, you get four of the runners. These work really well. Um, when I found them, I, I only bought one, and I went back and got more when I saw how nice they worked. But the only thing is they run out pretty fast. So you are spending more money for your adhesive than you would be if you just used glue. But I really like those. Okay, so that is that. And what else? I guess next I'll talk about Walmart. Um, these things have been sitting here like two months. So, I mean, I really have been behind and I really need to get this stuff put away. I have a Virginia haul from meeting Teresa last weekend sitting in my garage that I don't even want to bring in here until I make some space. So, I got this sign. It's like got that weathered look. And I got this at Walmart. I don't know. I think it was like six ninety nine. There's no price on it. I forget what I paid for that. But anyway, just to make somebody a gift on. Here we go. The games have begun. Sorry. There has to be somebody walking by my front window. And if they have a dog, it'll be even worse. Okay, 
Okay, so a couple of the other things I picked up at Walmart were these pumpkin, velvet pumpkin picks. And I think these were $1.19 or $1.99, I don't know, to make a fall arrangement. And I got two of those. The stuff is, sh fallout is everywhere. Um, then I picked up some fabrics. Um, I've been wanting this, I think Tina Epps showed it on her channel, but I've been wanting this VW bus fabric. I love it, love it, love it. So I picked up a couple of those. And then sunflowers. This would be perfect to wrap my sunflower journal. Um, they're every single, they're, let's see, there's one, two, three, five different fabrics in here and they're all different sunflower fabrics. So I'm in love with that. I don't know how much this was, five piece bundle. I think these were $5.99 or maybe they were more. I think they were more like six or seven dollars, seven dollars, I don't know. And then I got this little lavender notebook and it's nothing fancy. It's just a plain one with little plastic dividers. And I haven't decided what I'm going to use this for yet, if I'm going to make a glue book or a, a daily creative journal out of it, but I'll, I'll use it for one or the other. Picked up some new Fiskar scissors. Don't even remember how much these were. I'm going to say around $5 from Walmart. And then I've got this other journal on clearance. And... And these were, I think, $8, and they were marked down to 5 because they were part of the back-to-school stuff. And it's just a regular line journal. You guys know what I do with those. And I got this Coloring Escapes coloring book. And I mainly got it for this fall picture. I just love fall so much, I want to color that. But there are a lot of other, you know, I love rain umbrellas. There's a really cute umbrella one. There's just all kinds of cute stuff in here to color. And what I do with these is I color them and I cut them out and I paste them in some of my art journals. I grabbed a pack of these mini composition books. And it's blue, pink, and I can't tell what the other color is. These are great for mini glue books. I mean to tell you, you need these. If you'd like to glue book, book glue book, <laughs> can't talk today, I'm sorry. And you like to put mini pictures and mini stickers and little words from magazines, cutouts, like I do. These are so cute and they're easy. You can just throw this in a little um, box, like one of these little boxes from Dollar Tree. You can just throw those in there with a few things and a glue stick and you can do take this on the go with you and work on it. And let's see what else. Oh, I picked up some new Sharpies because it's the weirdest thing. They, I can't find this color purple anymore. Um, it doesn't show up in every Sharpie package like it used to. It used to be one of the common colors and now it's not. And especially, it comes in two sizes, this wider one and this narrow one. I, I can't find the wider one either, but I really wanted the narrow one for some of the coloring that I do in these little small spaces. And I needed that one. So basically, all these other colors are just a bonus. Birthday cards. You don't need to see those. This, um... I don't remember how much this was either. Panning gear, paint pad. Oh, yes, I do. These were on clearance for $3. And it's heavyweight paper. Let's see if it says. Med it says medium weight paper, perforated, acid free. And you get 30 sheets. And it's just, you know, your regular like watercolor. Well, it's not watercolor paper, but you could use it for watercolor paper. It's heavy enough. So I got that. This little set of washi, it's got 
some colors on there that look fall but some don't and that's okay I mean I'm I'll use them one way or the other I'll use them so there's that this little be kind book pen and gear journal I love that again a glue book a Bible journal I'm not sure what I'll use it for yet but I can't stay away from journals and I do use them it's not like they they never get used they do get used but it takes me a while <laughs> and woohoo this is that the last thing oh I got these pastel just regular number two pencils on clearance for like 50 cents from the back to school stuff and lastly, I think that's lastly from Walmart. Let me take a quick peek. But just this notebook, it just says notes. And inside, very, very faintly, you know, dots, those dot papers, a dot grid. But you can't even really see it. And it's fine with me that it's on there. I mean, I'll use this for probably for a daily journal. And I think that might be it from Walmart. Let me take a look. I think that's it from Walmart. This stuff is piling up here. So let me put a little bit of it back in the bag. Make some space here. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay, now. Um, next, I think I will do... Hmm. I guess I will do Dollar Tree. Uh, 11 minutes. Yeah, we have time for this. So I just grabbed a couple of these poinsettia um, embellishments, but I usually cut the wire thing off the back and glue these in journal pages. This year, they, these were slightly different than they've had in the past. They're felt with a little gem in the center and the little glittery green, green leaves. So I got those for Christmas projects. I got a couple of these jars for Christmas projects. And I got two sets of these little lights. This one is Santa faces. And this one is candy canes with little holly. So I don't know if I'll put those in those jars and light them up and decorate them. I don't, I'm not sure what I'll do, but I will definitely use those. Oh my goodness, too much. This little 250 stickers, like I said, from Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar. These are really cute. I use those in my journals. Same with these stickers. Be color blind. I love that. Um... Got some of these, they were new at my Dollar Tree, little ball, um, butterfly stickers. And they're like hard plastic, like a, they're like acrylic, I guess is what it is. So they're not, they're not paper stickers. And they, pretty colors that they come in. And they also had them in seashells. So I will put these in my summer um, project cases for next year. got this little book called Flint. <laughs> How cute is he? Look, he's a little Pomeranian. He's adorable. And it's just different pictures of him that, you know, and little stories about him that his owner put together. So I'm going to use these pictures in my clip art, my collaging and things like that. So, so cute. I picked up one of these word search puzzles for my bag when I go places, doctor's offices and stuff. I do play the word games on my cell phone, but there's something about the pencil and paper ones that I still like. And then there was this little red truck. Okay, this little red truck planter <laughs> it's pretty pretty much too small for a plant unless you wanted to put like a little artificial one in there like a little cacti or something so I'll come up with something for that 
uh, it was so cute. I mean, you can change it for the holidays. You can put a little Christmas tree in there. Then you can Halloween or fall, you can put a little pumpkin in there. Spring, you can put a little bouquet of flowers in there. So, I mean, it's pretty versatile. So I would definitely use that. Positively. Positive vibes only. Sticky notes. Always use those in my journals all the time. These stickers that I really wanted just for the <laughs> scooter is so cute. I mean, I love hydrangeas. I grow them and I love them, but I really, I haven't been able to find this one that everybody's been getting with the scooter and I finally found it. But um, but um, let's see. It's another one of those sticker books, 250, but it's a different one. This one has different items in it. Unicorns and mermaids and dogs. This is the dog page. Look at how cute those stickers are with the dogs. Oh my gosh had to have that they will all go in my journal all right so let me see if i can get some of this off my desk messy 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 okay. and then i think this is lastly from dollar tree Sticker Mania. Well, first I got these two um, sticky note pads. They come with a pen. I'm sure it's a lousy pen, but I don't care about that. I wanted the sticky notes. And I love to glue these in my journal and put pictures on them, quotes, um, anything. To-do lists. So this is just green leaves, vines, and this one has some little floral to it. I will put those in journals and oops, I'm dropping my stuff on the floor. Oh, I did pick up a little package of the pumpkin lights. They are so cute. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Oh, no, they're not pumpkin. They're flowers. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with those. If I'm going to put those in a little jar or just string them on a table in an arrangement. I don't know. I got some purple starburst washi some heart stickers some faith stickers and there were a couple different varieties of this one let me see if i can find it another one. yeah i got i they had a whole bunch of these faith stickers and i picked these two then i had to get sloth stickers I had to get dog stickers. How cute are they? Let's see what else is here. Oh, I did grab these fall stickers. I think I showed them in another haul last month or well, probably a couple months ago. But I grabbed one more of those because that was my favorite. A couple of these that everybody's been showing. The gnomes. I love these fall gnomes. Love, love, love them. And I think it was Tina Epps showed those and I couldn't find them for the longest time. And then pop, there they were one day. So I was happy about that. And then I don't... Oh. What about this? This was from Walmart. This was, I think, six ninety eight. And it says Vintage Garden on it. And I'm going to make a flower arrangement for spring and summer in that. And I will share it when I make it. Okay, so the last thing that I have is Dollar General. And stuff is everywhere. That's why I need to get this done and put away. <laughs> too much stuff this uh from dollar general i don't always find coloring books and things in there that i like but sometimes i do and i just hit the jackpot one day when i was in there and i found this it's adorable animals and they really are super cute look at these squirrels oh my goodness so you get the idea look at this baby seal <laughs> 
So I will definitely enjoy it all winter long when I don't get outside much coloring in those. And then I found this Story of Pandora fantasy coloring book. And it's just, you know, it's teapots and uh, forest animals, things like this. Super cute. So I grabbed that. I would love coloring in that. And then the last thing, I think this was, I think this might have been $5. And it's 65 pound weight multicolored cardstock in 20 colors. And you get 100 pieces of six by six. So those are the colors, all different pretty colors. A lot of them springy colors. And I think the last thing I got from Dollar General was these felt stickers for Halloween. They really had nothing at Dollar General this year for fall and Halloween. I mean, the shelves were just empty. And I mean, from the very beginning, they had this whole setup for fall and it's all empty. And I kept thinking, they're going to fill that in, they're going to fill that in. They have not. So... This is the jack-o'-lanterns, the candy corns, and the little white ghosts. So I think, I can't really tell. <laughs> I think that covers just about everything. And I have a couple of um, projects to share with you and I have also another haul, Virginia Hall, sitting in the garage that I will bring in and share with you. So um, hope everyone is doing well. Stay tuned for more. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.